Hello all you TV viewers out there in La La Land. Today we're going to go through a bunch of Omega Powers, cover this from 93, tomorrow we'll do 94. Uh, we're searching, what we're doing is we're searching for uh, Atari 2600 games that have been redone as public domain shareware or shareware games and we're going to find the best Gallagher, Space Invaders, Donkey Kong if it exists on Omega, Defender, Asteroids, um, the best of those and you know because there's like heaps of them. I mean there's heaps of them, there is heaps of them but we're gonna take out, we're gonna find the best whether it's on floppy disk or an old PD game that's stuffed on a, an Amiga format CD-ROM are they Amiga formats? of course they are, no they're CU Amiga, sorry CU Amiga CDs stuffed full of PD and I found a this one, which is it? Um, yeah, this one's got Final Odyssey and Europa 2 demo on it. I just found that out just now, which is weird. Now, what's that got to do with anything? Well, I just discovered that on one of the cover discs is the song It's a Skull. And I don't know if it's a, as a mod file or a mid file or a midi file or whatever, but the full song's on here. And I've, all, I've only ever thought that it was on here and nowhere else, but I found it on a floppy disk. So let's, we'll review it. And then we'll try and, it, well, we'll extract the disk and find out what it is, actually, if it's a mid file or a mid file or a mod file or S3, MXM, IT, <laughs> whatever. So let's go do that now. Um, these disks are old but I've got a whole box full of them and yeah I want to try and keep them you know in good condition anyhow that's all nostalgia for you so let's go do that now all right then goofy fans uh, make sure you set F3 to joystick otherwise nothing <laughs> happens oh Good thinking, Smurf Watchers. Oh, I killed him. Try and save one of them. Whoa! Or try and die. This one, this one. Ah, oh, forget it. Well, that was Defender. We'll play it better tomorrow. Sorry, it seemed like uh, Cam Studio refused to record any of that, so uh, we we'll have to do it again. Space is pause, not shoot. Is it recording this time? Yep. Now, as I was saying before, oh that's, oh, that's not really. It sounds similar to the arcade game, but the 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 firing and defender sounded like it was ripped straight from the arcade game. I mean, sampled. Oh yeah. Ooh! Don't you hate it when they used to spin around in loops and come back at you? Oh, I hate this bit where there's one left. Let's see if the A key's still working. Yep. It is. I nearly jumped into a bomb then. 
So as I was saying before, um, in the one that Cam Studio wasn't recording, there's a much better version of it than this. That comes out later. It's an AGA, well, AGA version. I don't know if this is AGA or not. Uh, so that was Galaxia. Okay, so let's have a look at issue 28, August 93. Um, Stardust isn't Super Stardust. We'll get to Super Stardust. Pong, it's a two-player game, so you can't really play it. But we'll make it a slight diversion because if one challenge is on it, if one challenge, oh, that's F-17 challenge. If one challenge is my favourite game, it's the same game. Oh, okay. Well, it's called F1 Challenge back then. Um, I, uh, the thing is, I can't remember why it's my favourite game. Uh, probably because it's Lotus on steroids. So let's load it up. Why is nothing working? One of those days, is it? 17 circuits, Team 17. That's probably why they called it F17. Yeah. It's upside down. Oh. Why you liked it so much? You keep heading into cars. Ooh, that's like that uh, new game I discovered. Top Gear 2000. The car spins around. I wonder if there's like brakes, <laughs> like I ever used to use them. Oh, there I overtook someone. Oh, there's brakes. Can I have your coffee now? Yep. Take your pills or your go mad. I don't know why this used to be your favourite game. It sucks. And probably because you used to practice and practice and practice at it. Ah. Oh. Play hard. <laughs> it is Lotus 2 on steroids. That's why. I remember playing it with the rain on the track on a rainy day. It's a vague memory from my past. Time travel is possible. You just put up posters of Bon Jovi and play old games. Bon Jovi! I love them! Ah, oh. well, that was F F1 F17 challenge. Bye. Okay, Goat Watchers, issue 32, disc 32, December 1993. Space Invaders. Enough said. Let's get into it.
See you later, three one. Where's the boxes to defend yourself with? Get the mystery, get the mystery! You missed the mystery again. Oh, if you make it through ooh, one level, uh, game over. This thing used to cost twenty cents a. A game, and you plow through. I played a bit of back then. <laughs> plow through your coins. When everybody else was roller skating. I've got the mystery. Yeah. Got him. I suppose it's harder to play without the um, clouds. I used to call them clouds in the way. Oh, forget it. Right, you suck at it now. <laughs> Bye. Do, 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 do. Okay, so on disc 28, the question of a lifetime is Pong a one? Can you make Pong a one player game? find out right now shall we public domain 3rd of July 92 and it ended up on a 93 cover disc and pressing fire doesn't work oh it really is just pong you play it with yourself <laughs> oh the hell's this four player pong well, that was Pong. Cool. Bye. Box is drawn. Okay, so... Alright, so disc 35, March 94. Let's find out what statics is. like Tetris. Oh yeah, I get you. If you have a balance a little, you'll die. What a cool game!
How do you lose? I don't know. Why don't you ask a fish? Oh, okay, push control, it's dropped straight away. Okay, well, I'll stop, I'll stop filming it and I'm going to play it. And for like half an hour, yeah, right, back soon. Well, that really needed uh, some concentration, it's an awesome game. So what's Tetris like? Oh. I'm playing these games a lot more than when I actually owned a real Amiga. Weird, man. I think you just used to buy the magazines, play the... Oh, it's the Tetris I like. Um, man, I used to play this for hours. One. One. Oops. Oh, now you screwed. It's been a while. Not happening, insect. Safe. Oh crap. Two. Put it in there. Oh, this is going to be crap. One. Ah, oh, this is the worst. We haven't played it in like 20 years. What do you expect? That was Tetris. That's my favorite version of Tetris of all time. Bye. Right, issue 37. On uh, May 1994, I want to show you the most advanced graphics game ever made. I presume it stands for Advanced Lawn Mowing System. But it's the best, the, the graphics just blow you out of the water. Just, it's incredible. Choose the Clovesta, it's in perfect working order, and you'll be granted the blessing of being able to mow the lawn. <laughs> what a lot of rubbish! Wow, well it must have taken at least a minute to program. I wonder if you can hack the um, source code and find out how it was made, then I could release ALS 2. <laughs> that 
now mow the lawns. You happy now? Wow, that was exciting. Bye. I suppose Monaco counts because I used to have a, a little machine that, you know, with dolls on it that used to do the same thing. It wasn't a machine, rather than a, a plastic bubblegum thingy. Great picture though. Oh! I wonder if I can get on the track. drive on the grass if I have to. How many times have I said that plain lotus? <laughs> uh, oh crap, now you're screwed. You are totally screwed, you'll never get on the track. Well that was <coughs> not go. Yeah, the best game ever made. And of course, there's the ever popular Sokoban or Move the Box, as it's commonly known in the land of Eurasia. We have always been at war with Eurasia. Hey, it's a little dude. Oh, cool. It's a putty squad dude. Soko bamboo. Ah! Oh! Just uh, careful with the. Um... You're gonna get yourself stuck. Not if I do that. Good thinking. It's Putty Squad, but Soko Band version. Yeah? Have you found Putty Squad yet? Or is it just Putty? No. Alright. How are you going to get around there? Careful. Oh, now you've screwed it. Uh, careful, you can push that one. It's cool with this dude. Better than Aquaman? Oh, slightly. Just have to go all the way around, that's all. There's no time limit, I hope. You could get stuck. No, I just. No, you won't. Push it there and push it there. Password joystick. Bye. Do 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 do. Okay, so here's the big four. Lamoration, Asteroids, Defender and Pong again. Disc 37, B, May 94. Lamoration. I wonder if it's got anything to do with the other game. 2084, 2086, 2092, 2041. <laughs> 
This is from June 91. Oh. Ah. What the hell? Figured out how to cheat yesterday. You just go like this. What the hell? It's not doing it today. It wasn't working properly yesterday. So I beat the level simply by walking around and he was shooting backwards. And today, Billy, we're going to be shooting cans of coke. What I did was I just went there. And I walked down. Oh, it's harder now that it's working properly. I just walked sideways and I killed everything. That was going to be a power up, but it's not wide, it had color in it. That was lamination. Cool. And now for asteroids. <coughs> Don't have a coin. <laughs> just back into a probably an asteroid that was asteroids bye do, 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 do. let's try the defender on here then That's the same defender. Make sure you choose joystick then. F3. There's no ships in this version. So how do you pick up the people? Ah, 
Well, that was Defender. Bye. And we're all presuming that Pong is just the Pong that I was playing before. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Wow, cool. Bye. Alright, thanks to Grant's Computing, we can load disk 38 June 1994. Something that I've just discovered because I used to play Oops Up all the time is a much better Oops Up. Could it be possible? That there's a better oops up slide your head, oops up slide your head. Better say opera. And the answer is yes. There's a better oops up than oops up. Wow. Is that possible? Yep. Oh, you're gonna die, by the way. I just thought I'd tell you you can move if you want. Oh! Yo, dude. Well, that was my oops up. Slide your head, oops up, slide your head, and a smasher. It's diggers, isn't it? I don't, I can't figure it out. I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, it's a weird version of Blitz Bomber. How do you kill anything? There's no bombs. Oh, there's a bomb, there's a bomb. Oh no, you screwed. You screwed, you screwed. Ready. Ready, I'll give you ready. Give me more bombs. Oh. I killed one by dying. <laughs> Any bombs? Anybody? There's one. Oh crap. Boom! There. And that was Adam Smasher. Wow. Can you believe how exciting that was? I mean, do you, do you know just... Do you just know how exciting that was? Wow, Victor Battleground. Oh, this one sucks because it's two player only, that's why. It's a good game. He's just said it's two player only, as far as I can make out. Thanks, Kim Cartel. Catrol. Oh, this one! Ready? No, this isn't it. Two player only. That was it. That was Victor Arena. Victor Battleground and oh, Tempin Bowling. <laughs> this one. I like Tempin Bowling for real, but the games version. Oh my gosh. Seriously, you're proud to present. <laughs> ah. Thanks.
Oh, I don't think I could even get this one going. I couldn't even get it going. Let's try. This is the best one ever. Well, that was it. We're up to issue 38 of Omega Power. Tune in tomorrow's episode when we will start from whatever comes after 38. <laughs> Probably 39. Who knows? Bye. Do 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 do.